Okay, so welcome to the first video of four different videos that we'll be doing for section 7.4. This deals with division, the division properties of exponents. This first one, quotient of powers property. So we know quotient, that is essentially the answer to a division problem, so we're obviously in the right section. The quotient of two non-zero powers with the same base equals the base raised to the difference of the exponents. So in this case, if we look at this, here is our base, it's six, and we have it in two places. So the quotient, the answer, oops, answer, I can spell right, of a division problem of two non-zero powers, so two exponents that cannot be zero, we have seven and four, with the same base, so in this case it is six, equals the base, that six, raised to the difference of the exponents, so difference is subtraction. So let's look at this problem. We have 6 to the 7th power over 6 to the 4th power. We can understand this conceptually, so we can say this is 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 over 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. So we have a lot of 6's going on. And what we can do is we can actually simplify this case. We have, we can take four sixes away on top and take four sixes away on the bottom. So what we end up with is six to the third power. Now if we're going to relate that to back to this quotient of powers property, we can actually do this. We can say six to the seventh minus four is equal to six to the third power. That is taking those exponents that we we're initially working with and subtracting them, the top one first, top one goes first and then subtracting the last and bottom one and so we get six to the third power. Same answer, two different ways of doing it. So now let's practice a couple of problems. Here is our first one. We have three to the fifth times two to the fourth times four to the third over three to the fourth times two to the second times four to the sixth power. Now again, we could totally write this all out. We could write 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and we can do that for each one of these sets of numbers. But honestly, this is a lot of work. Let's do that quotient of powers property. So let's focus just first on these 3s. We have 3 to the 5th divided by 3 to the 4th. Can break that down into saying 3 to the 5th minus 4 is equal to 3 to the 1st. Our next one, let's look at this. We have 2 to the 4th divided by 2 squared. So that equals 2 to the 4th minus 2 equals 2 squared. Next part of this problem, let's look at the 4s. We have 4 to the 3rd divided by 4 to the 6th. That can be rewritten as 4 to the 3rd minus 6 equals 4 to the negative third. So looking at all of that, I'm going to actually erase this little bit that I did up here. Oh, maybe not. I can't. So maybe I can now. Oops, no. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this all together. I'm going to shove everything over just a little bit so we can see it and maybe make it a little smaller so we can see it. We have our first, all of this simplified to 3 to the first, so we can write 3 to the first. All of this simplified to 2 to the second, and I'm multiplying everything because everything was multiplied to begin with. And I have 4 to the negative third, and that is what all of this right here was simplified to times 4 to the negative third. Now I see this negative exponent. I don't, I'm kind of sitting uneasy with it, so I think we can rewrite this in fraction form, 3 to the first times 2 squared over 4 cubed. Make that exponent positive, and that is our final answer. Next problem. 2 to the ninth, oops, let's make it a little bigger so we can see just that problem. 2 to the ninth times 2 to the, or divided by 2 to the seven, second. Let's do just this problem. We have 2 to the ninth minus 7 is equal to 
2 to the second. We could totally write out 9 twos and cross them out. We could do 2 times 2 times 2, and we could do it forever, and we can do the same thing on the bottom. And eventually we'd cross out a bunch of different twos and that sort of thing, but we can also just use that quotient to the power property. Quotient of powers property. So there we go. There's that one. Last problem. m to the fifth times n to the fourth divided by m to the fifth squared times n. Busy, busy. First thing I see is I see parentheses in here. And according to PEMDAS, we need to take care of that first before we start working to work, working with the exponents. So I see that parentheses. And in order to get that parentheses away, we are going to first have to do that powers to a power property. We learned that in 7.3. So we need to deal with those powers. So that m to the fifth ray is squared. That all equals to, to m to the fifth times m to the fifth or m to the fifth times 2 equals m to the tenth. So let's rewrite this so we can see it all together. We have m to the fifth n to the fourth over m to the tenth times n. Now from there, if we wanted to, we could write out 5m's and we could write out 4n's. We could do the same thing on the bottom, write out 10m's and 1n, but we could also do that quotient of powers property. So we have m to the fifth minus 10, looking at just these, equals m to the negative fifth. And we can look at just these, n to the fourth divided by n, n to the fourth minus 1, because there's a hidden 1 there on the exponent. So it's n to the third, positive. So writing this out, we can write um, m to the negative fifth times n to the third. We can write that, or we can get that negative exponent out of the way, and we can just write n to the third over m to the fifth. That is, that, that is our first property. I hope this helps.